LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times, laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however, have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard. So we're going to show you how to install your keys onto your keyboard. Start out by looking at the metal plates that are on the keyboard. You can see there's a single hook at the bottom and two metal plates on each side on the top which have little holes in them so make sure to look at the different keys because uh, the, those pieces are going to change position sometimes the single hook is going to be on the bottom or the top left or right so that's going to determine the pieces of uh, the position of these pieces here now we're going to click these two pieces together to make just one piece. So start out by looking at the larger piece. Um, and you can see that at the bottom it has two sticks hanging out and at the top it has two larger sticks. And um, the two larger sticks are going to go wherever the two holes are on the metal plate. So make sure not to put this whole piece upside down like that by uh, feeling the underneath the sidebars. If, if you feel a bump, that has to face the keyboard. And on top, it's just smooth, so that faces away from the keyboard. Now that you know the position for this piece, put it down for now. Get the next piece, which is this. And it has two sticks on the top, two sticks in the middle, and a large bar on the bottom. That bottom bar is going to go uh, clamped onto the single hook so make sure not to put this whole piece upside down by looking at the top part underneath of the top part there's like a gap where you can fit your nail or something in there uh, on the top it's just smooth so the gap faces the keyboard the smooth part faces away from the keyboard now you get both pieces and you know the position for them so put the um the uh, smaller piece over the uh, larger piece and you right through the middle you put the bottom bar of the small piece underneath the bottom bar of the larger piece uh, once you have that make sure to put the um, the sticks that are in the middle of the uh, small piece right in the holes that are in the middle of the uh, larger piece. Once you have that, they become one piece. Now put the large sticks in the holes, on the metal holes, and um, you want to keep this whole piece kind of flat. Try not to make it so vertical like that. So start out with putting one stick in one hole. When you have, Actually, let's do the bottom bar first. I think it's a bit easier that way. So put the uh, bottom bar of the small piece into the hook, um, the, you know, the single hook. Push upwards that way so that you can actually, the, the plastic sticks can reach the hole. And put one hole in first, then you do the other hole. So now the whole plastic piece is fitted onto the keyboard. Then you just get your key, you put it in the center, and push down evenly on all four sides. LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys.